Welcome to the enchanting world of our story, set on a Halloween night that shimmers with the promise of the Day of the Dead. The village square is alive with vibrant colors and sounds, a kaleidoscope that dances in the crisp autumn air. Marigolds, with their golden petals, adorn the altars, while papal piccato flutters overhead, casting playful shadows on the cobblestone streets below. This is a place where tradition and celebration intertwine, creating a tapestry of memories and stories waiting to be told. Join us as we delve into the heart of this village, where the past and present collide in a dance of life and death. Sophia stands at the edge of the bustling square, her long, dark hair cascading like a waterfall down her back. She feels the weight of her family's legacy pressing against her chest, a heavy stone of responsibility and history. Around her, the laughter of her friends, Diego and Isabella, echoes like a melody of joy. Diego, with his tousled hair and mischievous grin, darts through the throng of children, his adventurous spirit igniting excitement in the air. He is a whirlwind of energy, a free spirit seeking thrills in every corner of their vibrant village. Meanwhile, Isabella, with her gentle demeanor and flowers adorning her hair, stands quietly by the altar. Her connection to nature is evident as she caresses the marigolds, whispering secrets to the spirits that linger just beyond the veil of the living. Together, they form a trio bound by friendship and the stories that shape their lives. As the ancient storyteller, a figure cloaked in the mists of time, begins to weave his first tale, the atmosphere shifts. The children gather closer, their eyes wide with anticipation, eager to hear the stories of old. Yet, Sophia feels a chill creep up her spine, a sense of unease that she cannot shake. The storyteller's voice, rich and melodic, speaks of forgotten histories and shadows lurking in the corners of their memories. It is then that Sophia senses it, the dark force, a presence looming just beyond the flickering lanterns, hungry for the stories that define their existence. With each word that falls from the storyteller's lips, Sophia's heart races, a mixture of fear and curiosity igniting within her. The tales hint at challenges that lie ahead, the dark forces insidious whispers weaving through the fabric of the stories, threatening to unravel the very essence of who they are. Amidst the encroaching darkness, a flicker of hope ignites within Sophia. She realizes that the power of stories can bridge the chasm between the living and the dead, a connection that cannot be severed by fear. As the night deepens and the fog thickens, Sophia feels a stirring within her, a burgeoning courage that whispers of her own voice, waiting to be unleashed. The laughter of her friends, the warmth of the marigolds, and the ancient tales of the storyteller intertwine, creating a tapestry of memories that beckon her to step forward. In that moment, Sophia understands that she is not merely a spectator. She is a part of the narrative, a thread woven into the rich fabric of their collective history. She embraces her heritage and the stories that have shaped her family for generations, ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead.